day is going on guys and welcome back to the next iteration in this dimension resolve tutorial today we're going to be actually picking up where we left off in fusion and we're going to be learning about the transform node so without further ado let's go ahead and jump into the software and kind of pick up the thread from where we left off so now we're in our project and as we can see we have our fusion composition and let's go ahead and click on our fusion page here and let's just kind of recap uh, what we learned in our last video so before uh, you guys saw how we were able to take text and merge that on top of a video now we're going to actually learn about the transform which is probably one of the most amazing um you know i would say probably one of the most amazing nodes you can use in fusion and you guys will see why here in just a minute so what is the transform node and why do we need it you guys know i like to talk about the why first and so the reason why is let's say you have text on the screen just like you would in an edit page you may want that text to be a lot bigger smaller uh, perhaps you like to move it around well the transform node is going to allow you to do all those things that you're used to doing in the regular trans or the regular timeline view so let's go ahead and now see a real live uh iteration of that and that way we can go ahead and get a good grasp on things so let's go ahead and jump into our software again and what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna go ahead and click on our group here and i'm gonna right click on it and we're gonna go up to ungroup just so that we can go ahead and ungroup that and then i'm gonna make this be in a way that i personally like to see it and by the way since you see how we're able to move this freely uh just some housekeeping things you can actually right click on here uh in an empty space on the fusion page and if you're very ocd like you want things to be really really tidy and neat you're gonna like this let's go ahead and check this out so what you can do is you can go over here to an empty space and then right click and then go to um let's probably start with options or actually let's go to arrange tools sorry about that and then you can do two grid now what two grid does is as you move things everything is really really uh snappy um everything snaps to a grid and i think that you guys will find it to be really really nice uh no matter what you do everything will be on a nice grid view so um i'm gonna move things around just because for the sake of learning uh, we're gonna put this back to the way it should be and so now that I have my grid on, you can see that everything is really, really nice and neat. A lot of people have a lot of concern on where to put things in Fusion. So remember we talked about, again, I'm going to keep this really, really simple. We talked about inputs and outputs. So if you look here, um, right now we have a video and then on top of that video with merging text on top of it, right? But we want to affect just the text, right? Maybe we want to affect the text or maybe we want to affect the video clip. Let's just keep it simple. We want to affect the video clip. Well, if we want to affect the video clip, we need to send that into the transform. So let's go ahead and bring in our transform node. Our transform node is here. Let's just get it onto the grid. Okay. Now, right now, let's just let's not worry about text right now. Let's just break this here. Let's go ahead and break this here. Let's just move the text out of the picture for a second. Okay, so we're only working with right now just the video clip and the transform clip or the transform node. Okay, and then we have our output here or two screen. Let's go ahead and rename this back to output just so we can have the right understanding. Okay, and now so video to output onto the screen. Right. All right. Cool. Now, if we wanted to move this video around, obviously you can't, right? Like I said, text is probably not a good example, but a video clip, you can see I can't do anything with this video clip. So if we go ahead and connect this into our transform, okay, and then we take the output of that transform and put that onto the screen, now you'll see this little graphic will appear, and now we can actually move this clip around. And actually, you can see we actually have some transparent space here, okay? So we're now given the option to move this clip around all because of the transform node. So you guys see how you can kind of use the transform to pretty much move things around, shape things. You can even make things smaller or bigger. You can change the aspect ratio. This is pretty much the same uh, settings and things that you have in the uh, edit page, but now in the fusion page. Okay. And if you're not sure what I'm talking about, I'm talking about right here. When you go over to edit right here, you go here and uh, let's go ahead and just actually um open this video clip let's just grab a regular clip here and as you can see if i click on this clip 
you can actually see transform is right here. So this in the fusion page is, let's go to this fusion clip here. This transform is basically the same thing as the transform in the edit page okay so you can do pretty much the same things in there but i feel like in the fusion page you can probably do um a little bit more actually um but it just depends on what you're trying to accomplish okay so right now if you click on this transform node you can see over here in the top right corner we have you know you can do your your sliders or you can use your crosshair right here that's so you can kind of do a little bit more i feel like in the uh fusion page because you can actually see you know this cross here you'd have to change your mode on the edit page in order to be able to do this something like this okay so you can actually make this like this or you can double click it and reset everything back to normal okay and of course you can also use this little rotator to rotate clips as well and uh, obviously you see all these little keyframes here you can also make keyframes okay so you can even do things like that okay let's go ahead and fix my rotation uh which is actually here under angle and now we're back to normal and I just simply double clicked on that okay guys so now we can get into size so on and so forth you can make this bigger smaller zoom it in even more you know do whatever you need to do now one thing I'm going to show you guys real quick is how to now bring this all in together with our text right so again we're trying to affect our video clip well again don't don't overcomplicate it guys we've already affected our video clip and we did our transform so I can now go over here to the side and then we need to still merge the text onto all of that right so we're going to simply take the merge let's bring these a little closer actually let's do that there we go and then simply all we need to do is connect it into our merge with our text on top of it and then to the output and now we have a text merged on top of a transformed video clip okay you guys see that so now we have a text merged on top of a transformed video clip you see how i'm working kind of backwards like that so i found in fusion it's just better to work like that and to really kind of think kind of backwards a little bit that will kind of help you understand what you're sending out to your screen and I think that's just a really cool way of working okay all right guys so uh, that is actually going to bring us to the end of this tutorial actually I wanted to keep this in really light and simple and uh, you know we did talk about keyframes and uh, we'll get into splines and keyframes I think that deserves its own video only because it can get a little bit hairy and messy in the uh, fusion page if you don't keep things nice and tidy so what I'm gonna go ahead and do is I'm gonna go ahead and go to edit mode here and we're gonna go ahead and adjust this curriculum a little bit just so that we can actually make a separate video on that okay all right guys and uh, yeah that's pretty much it I hope you guys are having a wonderful day a wonderful week and a wonderful year and we'll see you guys in the next video you guys take care see ya